very pleasant greeting stone and all joining here myself dr veen nirmala assistant professor department of statistics sri sharada college government autonomy state today i am going to share about sampling theory and its methods introduction before giving the notation of sampling we will first define the population in a statistical investigation the interest usually lies in the assessment of the general magnitude and the study of variations with respect to one or more characteristics relating to individual belonging to a group sampling is nothing but it's the small uh, part of the population this is group of individual and the study is called the population or universe thus in statistics population is an aggregate of, of objectives animate or in animate under study the population may be finite or infinite it is obvious that for any statistical investigation complete enumeration of the population is rather impracticable for for example if you want to have an idea of the average per capita or monthly income of the people in india we will have to enumerate all the earning individuals in the country which is rather the very difficult task so in that type of situation we will depends on the sample uh, in this uh, diagram we can easily understand the difference between population set and the sample set here the population is a very huge area the small part of the population will be the sample set so another example also present here in sampling method there are two wider area probability and non probability sampling in probability sampling uh, the important uh, sampling types are simple random sampling stratified uh, sampling cluster sampling non probability sampling of purposive sampling quarter sampling continuum the population is finite complete enumeration is not possible so are destroyed in the course of the instruction for example instruction of factors uh, blood test uh, is 100% instruction so pos not possible so it is not all But even if the population is finite or instruction is not restricted, hundred percent instruction is not taken so because of multiplicity of the causes. The finite subsets of the individuals are found, and the number of individuals is different. For the purpose of determining population. Population, the individuals in the sample only are observed. Then the sample characteristics are utilized to approximately determine or estimate the population. The purpose of sampling is finally noted. I will highlight now. Housewives normally test their cooked products to find if they are properly cooked or certain contain in the proper quantity of the salt. Parameters and statistics. In order to avoid verbal confusion with the statistical constants of the population, uh, that is mean, variance, standard deviation of the population, which are usually referred to as parameters. statistical measures computed from the sample observations along for example mean variance etc of the sample having have been termed by the professor or the teacher as statistics in practice 
parameter values are not known and their estimates based on the sample values are generally used. The statistics which may be recorded as an estimate of the parameter obtained from the sample. It's the function of the sample values only. It may be pointed out that your statistics as it is based on sample values and as there are multiple choice of the sample that can be drawn from the population. Varies from the sample to sample. The determination of the characteristics of the variation in the values of statistics obtained from different samples that may be attributed to choice or fluctuations of sample is one of the fundamental problems of the sampling theory. Sampling distributions. The number of possible samples of size n that can be drawn from a finite population of size n that is n c n. If n is large or finite, then we can draw the large number of such samples. For, for each of the, these samples, we can compute your statistic for t. Example, mean, variance, etc. Which will obviously vary from the sample to sample. The aggregate of the various values of the statistics under consideration to obtain one from the the sample may be grouped into the frequency distribution which is known as the sampling distribution of the statistics. Thus, we can have the sampling distributions from the mean x bar and the sample variance to sigma etc. Standard error, which is the important term while analyzing for the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the statistic is known as the standard error. Kindly note it this point is very important. Then the standard error yes, we, of the sum of the well-known statistics not only means that sample size sigma squared is the population variance, p is the population proportion. So q is equal to 1 minus p, p is equal to 1 minus p. Utility of standard error. The standard error plays a very important role in the large sample theory and from the basis of the testing of hypothesis, if p is any statistic, then for the large sample, we can use that z is equal to p minus expectation of p by root of variance of p follows normal distribution 0, 1. Similarly, z is equal to p minus expectation of p by standard error into p. This follows normal distribution 0, 1. Thus, if the discrepancy between the observed and the expected values of the statistics is greater than 1.96 times, the standard error, the hypothesis is rejected at 5% level of significance. Similarly, if the determinant of t minus expectation of t less than or equal to 1.96, the standard error of t. The deviation is not recorded significant at 5% level of significance. In other words, the deviation p minus expectation of p could have arisen due to the fluctuations of sampling and the data do not provide as any evidence against the null hypothesis which may therefore be accepted at 5% level of significance. Similarly, we can discuss the significance of the difference at 1% level of significance. Commonly, the researchers are using 5% level of significance. The magnitude of the standard error gives an index of the precision of the estimate of the parameter. The reciprocal of the standard error is taken as the measures of the reliability or precision of the The principal steps in the sampling survey are here. The main steps involved in the planning and estimation of the sample survey may be more somewhat articulate in the following. First thing, objectives of the sample. The first step is to define in clear and concrete terms the objectives of the survey. It is generally found that when the sponsoring agency is not quite clear in mind as to what it wants and how it is going to use the research. The responses of the survey should take care of the these objectives and come demonstrate with the available, available research in terms of money and power and the time limit of the availability of the research of the survey. 
these three points are very very important for sampling theory the purpose of sampling is based on the money manpower and time defining the population to be sampled the population that is the aggregate of objectives and method um, animate from which sample is chosen should be defined in clear and unambiguous terms for example in sampling of forms clear cut rules must be known to define the frame regarding shape size etc keeping in mind the border line is crossed to enable the user to decide the theme without much hesitation Whether or not to include the given form in the population, but the practical difficulties in handling certain segments of the population may point to their estimation from the scope of the survey. Consequently, the even of the practicability or convenience of the population to be sampled, the sampled population is then in fact more restricted than the population for which it is used. Third thing, the frame and the sampling units. The population must be capable of uh, division into the lot of all the sampling units for the purpose of the uh, sample selection. The sampling units must cover the entire population and they must be distinct. The noun overlapping in the sense that the every element of the population belongs to one and only one. For example, in socio-economic survey for selecting people in a town, the sampling unit might be an individual person, the family, the household, or walking in local. In order to cover the population desired, upon there should be some list, map, or other accessory material called the sampling box, which to cover population to be covered. The construction of the frame is often one of the major practical problems since it is the frame which determines the structure of the sample set. The list which have been routinely collected for some purpose are usually found to be incomplete or badly needed or often contain the unknown amount of information. Such list should be carefully scrutinized and examined to ensure that free from this effects on our activity if they are not up to date they should be brought up to date before using them the good frame is and some good for giving one good experience to help to consider the frame the fourth one data to be collected the data should be collected keeping in view the aspects of the survey the tendency should not be to be collected too many data so not uh, which are not the subject the practical method is to chalk out an outline of the table that the survey should be this would help in eliminating the collection of irrelevant information and to ensure that no essential data The questionnaire or sheet will determine desired about the type of data to be collected. The next important part of the sample survey is the construction of the questionnaire to be filled in by the respondent or schedule of the inquiry, or it to be completed by the interviewer, which requires skill, special technique, as well as the familiarity with the subject matter and the study. The method of collecting information. The two methods commonly employed for collecting data for human populations are interview method. In this method, the investigator goes to some house to house and interviews the individual person and asks the questions one by one and fill up the schedule on the basis of the information supplied by the individuals. Second main question. In this method, the question is made to the individuals who are required to fill it up and return it newly completed. Whether the data should be collected by interview method or mail questionnaire method by or physical observations has to be decided between the individual to the cost involved and the accuracy of the data. 
although many survey or less costly compare the direct profit so there is scope for uh, considerable non risk moreover main method is practicable only among the educated people one who are really interested in the particular survey being conducted on the other hand interview method cost more and there are interviewers there are also but without investigators and data collector may be in case where the data are to be collected by observations the method of measurement the type of measuring equipment or instrument for to be non respond quite often due to practical difficulties the data cannot be collected for all the sample being for example the collected respondent may not be available at this place when the investigator goes there or he may fail to even refuse to give such an information statement this incompleteness for the non respondent obviously to change that the selection of proper sampling design it is also important the size of the sample is small the procedure of the selecting and the estimation of the population parameters is not in our uncertainty for some of the important statistical problems that should receive the most careful attention the number of designs or plans for the selection of the sample are available and the judicial guarantee good and reliable estimates for each sampling plan rough estimates of a sample size can can be obtained for the desired degree of precision organization of field work it is absolutely essential that the personnel should be so the trained in locality the sample unit regarding the measurement the method of collecting collection so for accurate data before, before starting the field work the success of survey to a great extent depends upon the reliable field work it is very necessary to make provisions for adequate supervisory staff for the inspection of the field work from practical point of view a small uh, pre test that is uh, trying out the questionnaire and uh, field method or the small scale uh, questionnaires has been found to be immensely useful the next one summary and the analysis of the data the analysis of the data may be broadly classified into the following things the first thing is scrutiny and editing of the data which means classification and editing and initial quality check should be carried by the supervisory staff while the investigators are in the field the tabulation of the data before carrying out the tabulation of the data we must define about the procedure for the tabulation of the data which are incomplete due to the non response to certain items in the questionnaire and where certain questionnaires are deleted in the editing process the method of tabulation is hand tabulation or machine tabulation will depend upon the quantity of the data the statistical analysis after the data has been properly scrutinized edited and tabulated a very careful statistical analysis is to be made different method of estimating may be available from the same data appropriate formula should then be used to provide final estimations of the accurate information the effort should be made to keep the procedures in line reporting and conclusions the final year report and the incorporating detailed statements of the different stage of the survey should be prepared in the presentation of the result it is going to practice to report the technical aspects of the design. the types of estimators used along with the amount of error to be expected in the most important estimate the reference book is a second sample the author is a student thank you for watching this video thank you all